you've always said you loved leading, right. which is why you ultimately decided to become a coach. What about leading do you love? Well, I think leading is, uh, it's the most dynamic thing that you could do. And the most exciting thing you can do, whether it be in business, your own family, a church, a team, because it's constantly changing. And the, the reason it's constantly changing is because people are constantly changing and cultures are constantly changing. And so there, you can never learn everything there is to know about leading. And it's very exciting, and it, uh, you get to the core of who people actually are. And then if you can get all those people to work together for a common cause, that's like the, the best thing in the whole world. I spoke to John Mack, and he told me that you've made him become a more direct person, and actually <laughs> that you gave him advice preceding a speech he gave about the financial crisis to Wharton Business School, and he credits that with being the best speech he's ever given. What advice have you given to well, John Well, I'm Mack? not sure how much advice I've given John Mack. He and I are very close friends. and. Uh, uh, I think one of the things, you know, I always tell him is he, he has a great presence. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a powerful guy, obviously very smart and, and quick-witted. But at times when you're a leader and you're, you're in that top office, you sometimes can lose touch in how you know, direct you might have to be and, and how to be direct. With that particular situation, I don't remember exactly what I said, but. It was something like, uh, just tell them the truth in the way that it happened. And it'll just come out the right way. And, and, and do it in your own style. And you know, John did an amazing thing uh, to save his company. And uh, that's the reason the speech went well, not because of any advice uh, that was given. The outcome was pretty darn good. He, he said he finds you to be, hands down, the most direct person he's ever met in his life. To what extent, if any, do you find that surprising? No, well, because he hasn't met himself. You know, uh, he's pretty direct, too, which is good. You know, basically, John and I are really good friends because we, all, we truly believe that you should look the other person in the eye and tell the truth all the time. In other words, the truth at an instant not a minute later or an hour later or when it's convenient, but the truth, whether it be, boy, you look good, or you, know, you don't look good. You know, we gotta do something about this. But to have a relationship with that person so that they will accept the truth. If you don't communicate ever with that person and then all of a sudden you don't look good, man, that's a rude thing to say. You know? But if you know them, like, you, just, you don't look good right now, and here's what we're gonna do about it that type of thing. And, and uh, John and I have talked about how to communicate, why that's important. And in his business, he needs the truth right away. And certainly in mine, I need it, I need it right away. Speaking of being direct and telling the truth, regardless of how, I guess, brutally honest it might be, the first date you went on with <laughs> your wife, uh, did you really tell her that she was your third option in the first two girls? Well, there's, no. it's a longer story than that. Uh, I mean, I didn't come out and say, by the way, Mickey, you know, you're, <laughs> but I was a cadet. We have an honor code, you don't lie, cheat, or steal. Now, there is what they call social honor, where, you know, if you're at someone's home and it's not a good meal, where you don't say, you know, ma'am, that was a horrible meal. And you say, you know, thank you very much for the good meal. Yeah, but as we were on the date, I, I, I felt guilty for some reason. And I just said, it wasn't like in bravado or anything, like you're the third option. I, said, I just want you, want you to know this is how this happened. In, and, and you felt guilty because she didn't know that, that she was she the didn't third know option? That. And, uh, uh, but the third option was the best option. In other words, uh, it doesn't mean she was third best. It, was, it took me until the third to get the best. And, Anyway, did I, I think I got out of that all right. How'd she respond? Uh, no, she's actually, we're married for 41 years, so it must have worked.